And so a, a lot uh, real recently, uh, a lot of, of focus has been put on what's called behavioral economics. And so economics, which you don't always think of as a social science really is, it's about the behavior of people basically around money and, and how money drives different, different behaviors. Uh, but when you think about that, that had been this pretty consistently stayed a classic economics people or perspective, which looked at, you know, how people responded in these different circumstances. And it had this non, or had a basically a rational actor piece in it, where it assumed that everybody was right. really <laughs> rational. Behavioral economics took this idea of psychology, interspersed it with, with economics and basically said, look, we show that people aren't always rational actors from the perspective of what classical economics would state, right? Mm -hmm. We don't always maximize the amount of money we make. We don't always maximize what is called utility within there, right. but we do it in very predictable ways because we're emotional creatures because we have feelings and thoughts and we, we, you know, yes, I'm on a diet, but there's that element too, where we think of um, why it is that, we do something uh, is always from a, a real good rational perspective. And one of the things that I love about, um, you know, behavioral science is that it says that we are, you know, we're good at rationalizing mm -hmm. um, uh, much better than we are as, as being rational beings, but right. we're good at rationalizing the reasons that we did a behavior. So.